Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, right, I'm on another another lighting rewire today. Uh, this job came around, I uh, spoke to the customer, they had sold their house, they were asked to provide any ICR, so I came around, instantly looked around, there's metal light fittings everywhere, uh, metal switches, which is here, and this is what we found in the back. So we've got a wooden back box, wired and single core cable with no earth. So obviously straight away it's a, it's a no no. Then I took a look at the fuse board, all rewirable fuses, <coughs> and this is what we found. So we've got a new shower cable that's been put in, uh, that's been put in with the cooker circuit. Obviously, got a ring main, then we've got the immersion, and then there's a one mil, uh, literally two core cable, no worth, run off a 16 mil uh, fuse, a 16 amp fuse, sorry, uh, and then uh, three lighting circuits, and obviously the wooden board, no RCD protection. Uh, there's down lights in the, the shower, metal fittings everywhere still. So immediately I said to the person, it's going to be unsatisfactory. I can carry it out, no problem at all. I'll charge you for the certificate, you hand it across. And they said, well, there's no point doing the full certificate if it's going to need this stuff doing. So I said, normally what I'd do is give you a quote, new fuse board, light rewire, full, full test of the whole house. Um, and then you either give it to your estate agent, which will then pass it across. So either they'll knock it off the, the value of the property for the new tenants, or they'll actually get the work carried out before you know you do, do the exchange. And I've got a lot of work at the moment anyway. They uh, they turned around and said, right, we need you to do it as soon as possible, please. So moved a few things around. So that's why I am here today doing this. Uh, I know I've done a few videos on, on rewires and whatnot, but I've taken a bit of everyone's advice of how other people would do it. So I think today what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it, running all the power to the switches individually. So power in, power out, and then one cable straight across. So power in, power out, straight across, one cable to the light fitting. And uh, yeah, we'll give that a go. Uh, need obviously the new board. They don't want an SPD. Um, obviously try and keep costs down to a minimum. I'm putting exactly the same fittings back up. Even this uh, nice little switch. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll, um, I've got my stuff in. I'm going to have a walk around, see what's what. I would say most of the fittings are metal and, uh, and we'll go. Right, my first port of call, gone round, took the fittings off. So that's what we've got, metal fitting, single core cables, no earth, metal, wooden back boxes. Um, I have found one thing, so what I would normally do is a fuse board, if I just show you, fuse board's about here, third step down. I presume it's running this box in presume unless it's in the cavity so my first port call take the landing up see some boards have been taken up there before so that's probably where they've redone the new shower feed well I say new it's it's old but gonna have a look at that so took the carpet up i've just took the underlay in the bath pulled this back <sighs> oh, sorry about that um yeah my first port call so i'll be pulling that up see what's what's running where because if the board's here, I'm going to end up, because I'm trying to do the least damage as possible. Obviously, if they've sold the house, they are wanting to move as soon as possible. And until this work is done, I'm holding back the chain of people moving, which is great. So, uh, yeah, least damage as possible. So, I'm going to try and see if these are capped. Obviously, we're going to make a bit of a mess cutting these, this wooden board back out. Um, normally, everything's capped, I would say normally. But the only thing that isn't ever is the two-way for the lighting. No one ever seems to cap that, so this wallpaper is going to get trashed, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do, pull this board up, have a look what we've got. Hopefully, that there is just a cavity. I don't think it's going to be, but we can see. If not, it's going to have to come across up and then do the downstairs here. Bring it across the landing to here. This is the air and cover the other side of here, so it's going to be brought up with the feed for upstairs lighting. But one thing I've already found is there's one core cable which is, looks like it's coming down to the board and that is literally just clipped across, across and it disappears into the air and cupboard. That's a great little start. So I'm going to get this board up, it shouldn't be too much, uh, and then we'll have a look at what we're saying. Right, board's up. So you can see the cables running there, but this is what I can see. So that new one on top there, you can see running into the joist. That there is the new shower cable which comes across there, up in this trunk in, up into the bathroom. 
So in here, you've got the new cooker, well, the sorry, the cooker, ring main, and then all these single core red and blacks are the, uh, the lighting downstairs. And I would have thought upstairs if it's been run up into the airing cupboard as well, but we'll see. So we need to sort of find out where that hole is, because I can't see it downstairs, because technically where I am now, this hole should be in the dining room. So we'll snip downstairs and have a look. <coughs> right, I've actually had a bit of a look for the first time. It doesn't have it very often, but because they run this new shower cable in, this here, where these cables go down, is literally on the angle of the stairs that's in the dining room. But that new shower cable they brought up, someone's obviously had this out before, this is the old stuff here. You can see the cable running in there. And that's just made life a lot easier because that is a, a little void that I can then run down and then that then actually meets to a, hey, I'll show you downstairs, it'll be easy. So that's that shower cable there, which would be easily to be pulled off. But here in the dining room, that's roughly where that hole is. And obviously then the board, it's boarded straight onto the back of the stairs. So there's literally no room other than damaging that to get to it. So having that new shower cable in, it's a lifesaver really. So that'd be nice. So we've got access point. That's the main thing that I tried to, you know, just to find to start with. It's your first path straight upstairs. So now we've got this. I've got my first route, so you sort of, you don't take your power. I'd probably do the furthest one away, the most difficult one. But downstairs toilet, power to the switch and back, then to the lounge, then to the hallway, then dining room, then kitchen. More good news. Right, I've just smashed out the original wooden back box. Nice bit of ply there. Obviously, I turned the power off in this downstairs toilet where it's really dark to be able to do this. Okay, but we found some capping. So that is good news for the customer because if it is good, I mean, there's loads of bloody space in there. Um, I'm not gonna have to damage any of this. And that looks deep enough, to be honest, for, I mean, some people do fit 16 mil metal patches for lights, but I much prefer fitting 25 because you get these new bloody switches, which are all slimline ones, and the back of it, or dimmer switches, the back of the, the dimmer switch is bloody massive, like this one. So, you know, if you ever get the chance, just fit 25 mil back box, a lot, lot easier. So I'm gonna see, I, I will turn the power off again, and just see if that slots in nicely. And then, um, obviously, I won't do you making us a mess. So I have my dust sheets down and everything, rubble tub at the ready. <sighs> You even got the Hoover in the van. Don't know how it works though, but I'll have a look at the instructions if they're still gone. Um, yeah, I'll stick that box and see what's, what it's like. Look at that. This does not happen very often. Uh, right. So I'm literally going to do that all the way downstairs now. I'm not going to fix any of it in because the angle of the cable coming down, if I like, try and attack onto this and pull up, it's gonna end up catching the metal rib and then stripping it. So I'll leave them loose, making sure they all fit in. I'll pull the new cable down, fish it down, do it that way. Then I'll just slide the back boxes in afterwards and then obviously put the grommet stripper on the top, make it a lot easier. So I'm gonna go pretty much do it for all the downstairs so I'll catch up with you in a bit. Right, all of these are now, I mean, that one's got a bit of a gap, but that's the uh, door frame there. So loads of room in all the capping, which is perfect for me because obviously I'm gonna be running three cables in. So loop in, loop out and switch. There's the kitchen one and that's the two way one over there. That one was just an absolute bloody bodge. It was one of the uh, uh, screwless faces, so everything's pushed in the back. But then they've had a new conservatory. I said these people, this bit, the customers that, my customers that are selling the house, they haven't done this as well, how they bought it. But there's now an outside light there that's also run off here. Great fun, I know. So that was that one, that was that one. That's got to come down. So what I'm going to do now is go and locate upstairs where these switches are. So one in the lounge is going to be master bedroom. One here is going to be on the landing. One there is going to be in the second bedroom and that's been the second bedroom as well. So get the carpet up, locate the boards, pull them up. And obviously the one in the here as well and here. This is going to be the awkward one because there is a another cupboard here on the top of the stairs so we'll have to 
piss around with that. And also we did find is that two core cable that's wired into the 16 amp breaker in the board is an outside light feed. So they've gone straight out, up, into the light, connector block off the back, down, and then into here. So when I turned the downstairs lights off, that was still live, but it didn't get me because I was, I was very careful. I turned that off as well. So great job whoever's done this as well. So what I'll do is just cut this off, run a new cable out, and if the feeds come into here, I'll then just bounce it straight to the outside light that's about here. So gonna go and find the boards up there, pull them up, away we go. We have a few boards up. Okay, this is what I normally do. With any big length of carpet as well, especially landing, never fully pull it out. Either do one side, tuck it back in, do the other. Because I've done it before where you take it all out and I fold it into a square in the centre. And it literally never, ever, ever goes back in the same. Because I'm not a carpet fear. Yes, I can poke it back in, I can do a few things, but I don't have the equipment to, to stick it in properly. So bring one up, put it back down, bring the other. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Right. My next top tip, should I say, is that's where the light switch is going to be for the stairs, the two-way. Just got the runner carpet, roughly where it's going to go. Obviously, some plumbers been in before and pull pipes up, uh, pull pipes, up, pull boards up to put pipes in. So I always find it best is anything loose, pull up, gives you a good look. So I can see here that all my cable runs go that way. There's another one here which that is going to be the light switch in the dining room, which is perfect position really. You can see the capping coming out the top. Um, so realistically to get across to the fur further side, I'm going to have to cut board across here. I mean, these are a bit bodged. The joist is there, so someone's cut it a bit wrong. So what I'll do, is just put a batten of wood across here to support that. I can see they've drilled it on the angle, but it's still not the best, it will squeak. Yeah, take this board up and then I've got a clear run. Obviously I'll drill my holes underneath to the side a bit so it's nowhere near the pipes, up and across, I dog it in over there. There's one more switch which is behind this bed underneath for the downstairs toilet so that's going to be fun shifting that around, it's not the biggest room in the world. Lounge switch is here uh, but the joists do run this way so this does give me the allowance to take a light fitting down, lounge one, kitchen one, rod across, find the rod this way then I can pull my cable across and down, sort of get the location, and then what I'll do is pull a little bit up, obviously, so I can clip it under the take a board, clip it near the fitting, clip it across. Just gives me the reference point to work from, really. So I like the joist running this way because it gives you the, you know, you can use your rods, you can use your your fish tape and all that sort of stuff. Uh, right, next thing, I'm going to get this board up. Obviously, I've got one there. Found one switch. The other switch is going to be here for the kitchen. That's the kitchen two way over there and the lounge. So. Continue getting boards up, find all of them, and then once I've found them all, we'll, uh, we'll get some cable in. This is the unfart, un uh, right, okay. One, two, three. On my other video, I was saying how easy it is in a empty property, to how easy it is to rewire. This is not an empty property, so this is not the fun part of being an electrician. So obviously the bed was set up here, there's a big chest of drawers here, carpet. So I've measured out, from that switch, which is the bottom of the stairs, it's about here for the bathroom light switch and then the light's about there. So just shift everything across. This is what you end up doing. Then if I need to get there, I end up doing all this as much as I can, putting it back down, shifting everything across this way, doing that side. But I haven't covered the, uh, the alarm guy has done an absolute cracking job here. That was literally, the carpet was laid on top of that and then that chest of drawers was just sat on top of it. So, I think it's a little case of not my job, really. I mean, the oh, that's the um, control panel for the alarm. Obviously, running a bit short on cable. That's mean that shit in it. Unless someone's caught. It. Oh, hang on. I might have been caught with something. Anyway, that's shit. So well done, whoever did that. So that one's off. I'm going to measure across. So to get across there, I'm going to take this board up. I think it's, if that's going down where the wall should be, then my switch will be on this wall here, but on the inside, about there. So I'm gonna get this board up, cut it across here, and then that should find my switch. Right, we're ready. Okay, so we got, that's the kitchen one. Um, 
a lot of cables going in and then they come back out and this is over to the two way but i'll sort that out once this is back down i can pull everything back across like the other room i've showed you all the stairs oh the stairs i nearly went off over to it then i measured it out and i got it wrong it wasn't in that bedroom the other switch is here because obviously this is indented in across so lounge switch is there downstairs toilet switch and light fitting landing bottom of the stairs and the outside light obviously this is my run that there is my um dining room switch and obviously kitchen switch over there so now i've found switches and i've got sort of runs where i'm going to run stuff i'm going to snip off what's there up here i'm going to start pulling some my loop in loop out so i'm going to bring my main feed up here down to my first switch here. I'm probably better off going that way to start with, seems as if it's just the one. So loop in, down to the kitchen switch, come back out, back down. We'll go to the downstairs, downstairs toilet, and then across to the lounge. And then that should be ample enough for that. And then I'll go around and start doing some stuff in the light fittings. Right, it's a little quick tip that I use sometimes anyway. Obviously because we're gonna be running three cables, loop in, loop out, switch cable for, well not switch cable, feed to the fitting. Uh, obviously there's a piece of capping in there that is I'd say an inch wide you don't want to be I, I do this so you t <clears throat> strip back twist over make yourself a circle a loop sorry twist over do the same thing with that tie that on always use alive or neutral because if you use the earth it, it pulls it through the cable and you end up having stretching it out inside or possibly snapping it so I'm going to use that I've got my two I've got two drums of one mil on the van so one bit my loop in and loop out, and then I've run off a big length, which should be long enough to reach the fitting. But obviously I've, just, I've put excess, I've put another meter on it, to be fair, just to be on the safe side. They've taped them all together, so I'm gonna try and pull up in one go, purely the fact, normally I would stick up, if you put a feed up, then I stick a rod up, and if there's not enough space to pull up, you end up damaging the other cables as you're pulling it through. So if I can try and pull all three up in one go, I'm gonna be up and down, up and down, wiggling it, pulling it up, I'm going to take this joint and I'll take that. I just left it so you could see. If I can pull this all up in one go, then it's going to save a hell of a lot of messing around, you know, afterwards. So I'm going to give this a pull and see how it goes. Right, well, that didn't work, unfortunately. This arsehole was in the way. So I ended up chopping that out using the, uh, the cable tongue to feed up. But what it was, that bit of mortar was wedged in there and pressed on the back so I couldn't physically pull the cables up. So I've chopped that bit out, I put a little bit, up, a bit of capping in afterwards and I'll uh, stick a bit of filler on that. I mean, I'm trying not to damage the walls, so even though I've got black finger marks everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to tie onto that and then pull it up to this one, pull the length out and pull it up and uh, do it that way. So unfortunately it doesn't always work, but when it does, it's, it's a blessing. Everything I just said, completely ignore, because that was a fucking pain, sorry, pain in the arse. Uh, Tried to go up, wouldn't go. It was caught on there, and then there was another bit caught on there. I could get two cables up, I would have thought, but not three. So what I ended up doing is taking all the drums upstairs, because obviously if I feed it from here up, I've then got to take my length that's going to come from here to there, and from here up to the fuse board, all the way through this, this capping. Which is ridiculous to start with, so I should have already put it up top, so I put my drum up there, pulled it down, so I've only had to pull, literally what is a metre and a half through that. So notch that out, notch that out, they'll be filled up. I'll wipe the wall down with my fingerprints afterwards. Um, so I've pulled my length off to go down here, and length off to go down here upstairs. So I'll do the same thing here, is I've already got my length up ready, I'm just gonna draw some joists, because I need to stop passing my cables through. I'll put my drums up there, and then I'll use them to pull the cable down, but I'll leave one core so I can run a three core from here to the other switch over there. Um, sorry, that was probably really loud. So then it'll go from there back <coughs> across to the stairs, back over to the toilet, back to the lounge. Oh, right, at least I've figured out a way how to do this house. Cause I mean, every house is different, so I'm sweating. But also while I'm on the subject, I bought another new toy. It is the Stanley Fat Max um, Technician's Open Toe Tool Bag. And it's ace, to be honest. I mean, I looked at a few other different ideas and designs of, because I wanted a, 
a little one where I could put most of my first fix tools in, a couple of screwdrivers, drill bits, you know, instead of bringing it in and out of the van, because I've got a massive tool box before and I was forever digging into the bottom. So bought this and I got it on the Amazon Prime deal day thing the, the other day. I got it for 20 quid. 20 quid. I mean, I looked at the other options and they, they wanted about 60 to 80 quid. I can't remember the names, but, you know, proper electrician's ones. It's just bloody ridiculous for a, for a tool bag. And to be honest with you, I liked it that much. I bought another one. I know. So this has sort of got second fix plus tools that I don't use as often. Um, I mean, I've got a few out, like my hammers and chisels and everything like that. But yeah, no, I think they're great. Got a good couple of pockets everywhere. Got a tester in there. Got a zip up front for what's in there. A few drill bits and whatnot. Armour slice. I mean, tape measures meant to go on the side, but it's dropped in. But no, I think it's great. 20, 22 pound of pay for it. Can't go wrong. I mean, if it falls apart in six weeks, it... so what? So, yeah, I thought that was cool. We have everything in place except for one thing. I mean, since the last clip I've probably just seen, I've been doing this for about four, four and a half hours. So we've got our feeds up, our loop in, loop out switch. And that's the same on every one. This one was a bit more difficult because you've got a loop in, a loop out, one going to the fitting, but then three core and earth as well that goes upstairs. So trying to fit that in. So what we've had to do is I've cut sections out because it was just so tight on the brickwork. Let me look in the toilet. Oh, that's last on the last on the circuit. So the cable up there, power in, and that's there. Uh, and also off this, we'll uh, tap off the outside light. I'll get rid of that one, run a new cable through. The only issue I've got with anything is absolutely some cowboy as usual. So this is the two way and a power. What What is the conservatory light? But the conserv the whole house is wired in single core cable with no earth. And this is run off that circuit. And someone has put new cable on connected to the earth when there isn't one and by the looks of it buried a junction box in the wall somewhere so I'm just trying to find where the power is in the house that comes outside but for all I know it's uh, down the cupboard there or in the lounge so I'm going to have a bit more digging and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you no, no good uh, hang on a second Checked everywhere. I've just picked the boards up from here all the way across to the halfway in the French doors. So the only thing I can presume is it's drilled through and run behind this because this is the looks of it. It's all dabbed off. So I presume they've just done a joint behind it somewhere. So I think the only thing, I mean, I'm trying to do this with least mess and cost as possible for the guy. Um, the only thing I can really do then is I'm just going to stick a light there. I'll move that one and put it here. And I'll just drill, drill it straight through here up on the angle and stick it sort of same height but here. And hope that'll do, unless he wants me to run it round. But that's what we, like I say, I can't really get old and they're on holiday, so that's why I've got free run of the house. So I'm just going to put it there and have to deal with it really. I mean, you're selling the house. For all we know, the people are going to buy the house. They're going to smash off this, knock this kitchen through, do this, that and the other. So that's it really. So yeah, I'm going to have to, I'll do that. But I think I'm going to, I've got everything in now. So I'm going to start putting a few floorboards back down. But before I put them all down properly, my plan is to run the upstairs lighting circuit up and get it through into the air and cover it up ready before I put the boards down because it's just just going to have to be all done again tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to get that done, put some boards back down and then I'm going to go and put some boxes on. It's 30, well, I just sat in the van, it's 36 degrees it says here. Oh God, I'm so warm. Uh, floors are all back down here. We've got the landing up because we've still got the upstairs and downstairs light and feed which is there. So I'm just going to try and see if I can get a rod down and saw that out. That's all back together. The little room's all back together. 
That's my upstairs feed that's going to be inside the boiler going up into the loft. So that's just fed down for the time being. It's going to stay on the spool tonight. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and rod that down. Ideally, I want to get it po excuse me, powered up. Well, even not powered up. Get all the back boxes on and get the fittings back up because if I can get the entire downstairs lighting rewired in the day, and get the upstairs done. Upstairs would be a lot easier because obviously it's all from the loft. And then fuse board changed over and tested. And I, I know there's one thing in the kitchen that I've got to change. The uh, hob ignition, the hob is just connector blocked it underneath off the socket, so that needs sorting. in. But yes, I'm running across some cap and some filler in the little holes. But right, I'm going to try and rod this through and uh, try not to dive heat exhaustion. To be honest. Right, that's been pretty much done today, to be honest. It's uh, 10 to seven, even though it's still 7,000 degrees outside. Um, where we're at, right, I've done a bit of patching. It's being decorated anyway, so don't judge me because it looks shit. Um, just the outside light, what is the conservatory light to drill through tomorrow? I've got the feeds through, got that through. <clears throat> that one's through, a bit of patching up there. Uh, board is Light and uh, lighting up and down a down uh, and the shower cable. I had to use, in the end, I disconnected the shower cable from the board, pulled it up, placed in, not in the end of it, and I taped it on and pulled it back down. I just physically couldn't get a rod up there, it just wouldn't work. So, use my brain. Um, what else? Lounge is done. That's on. Downstairs toilet that's pulled through and on. Just put a little bit of fill around each one. That's on. Just need to drill a new cable through and get rid of this crappy one a little bit fuller there I know looks awful uh, and then I've just stuck my head in the loft hatch my god it's warm so that's tomorrow well I'm gonna get no I'll leave this all to the end I'll um stroke my loft first thing in the morning get in there before it gets too hot mask on um just it's just gonna be fucking horrendous to be honest like it's hot enough as it is I'm gonna bring a big fan from home on the like big work industrial fans so yeah, that's it for today, and I will uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, day two now. Um, two things. I'm wearing this today because it's too hot, and also I bought the big fan. So I think what I'm going to do today, well, first thing, get some switch to get some lights fittings back on, and then I can just be done with downstairs. Uh, upstairs, I've cut the switches off, put the fittings down. Um, I think what I'm going to do because. I had such a mare yesterday, trying to keep it neat, not damage too much walls, um, and try and run loop in, loop out, and the cable for the light in the walls. I think I'm going to scrap that. <coughs> Excuse me, scrap that idea for upstairs. I think what I'm going to do is what I said in the previous video. So I'm going to put a big uh, Wago joint box right next to the loft hatch, run the power to it, and then I'll do my switches to it, and then my uh, my feeds after the light. I think. But once I have a look in the loft, I'll be able to assess it a little bit better. But then that's my plan. So I'm just going to get some stuff on downstairs for a second fix. And then I'll, uh, I'll come back to you once we start upstairs. Right, I've moved upstairs now. All the switches are off. I've smashed out the patresses. That I've left that bit of wood in the back because it's bloody deep hole. Uh, that's gone. Light fins are down. A few, chucked a few rods up. But this one here, I think, I think it's boarded above here and above there, which is going to make things interesting. That one in there. And that switch there. So let's take a trip with me into the furnace, which it will be now. Nice red loft hatch oh, on my room. Alright, I'll stick you on top of my light. Right, so she's got some loose boards, that's all right then. So there's one rod over there. Oh, the bedroom one's just going to be here. So I think it's just lipped under this board here. And there's loads of cobwebs in the air. Right, that's where the landing one is there. The bathroom has had um, <clears throat> 12 volt uh, LED downlight, metal downlights in at some point. So obviously no earth on or anything. So I'm going to have a look at all that wiring. I think the best thing is because this loft installation, as you can see, 
it's someone's just rolled it out instead of just chucking it everywhere as usual so what i'll do is stick a mask on a little bit and some gloves and just roll it up out of the way as and when i need to get somewhere um and then can we see over there the rod to the other one it's quite a big loft to be fair right one thing i have decided to, <laughs> have decided to do uh, I, I did say originally i might put the big wago box here bring the feeds in and the switches and everything but there's loads of space in the walls i'll just show you down this is the switch in the main bedroom here so there's absolutely loads of room down the walls and that going for each one really so i think i'd like to say i'll just bring the switch um the, sorry the power to the switches again and, and give it that way but if i say i messed around downstairs too long it i spent more time trying to not make any damage i know there's a few little holes everywhere than ripping it out. I mean, I probably must have spent nearly two hours more. And so if I'd have just ripped it out with a drill, it would have taken me no time at all. And I'm just trying to be courteous to the people buying the house, really. But um, yeah, I'll get a few rods up and see <clears throat> see if I can find the switches. All right, loads of room up there now for loads of cables. Yes, I have a Darth Vader up. Um, I don't know if these are meant to be twisted different. I couldn't seem to change it round. I don't know why you can hear me. But I'm good. I'm just really hot. Um, right, I'm going to do that with all of them. So I've definitely got enough room to pull up and uh, feed them all up. So I'll drill them and I'll get back in a sec. It's oh, fucking horrendous. Oh, Mess me out as well. Oh, cobwebs everywhere. Oh, that's really, really, really warm. Right, I've drilled holes for all them. Compends of filthy as well. Um, found that one. There's not a lot of movement in that one. That one, that's drilled. This is drilled as well for this one. The only thing I've not gone across yet is to the bathroom. I'm just going to do that last because that's the furthest bit away. So, uh, get my two drums up so I can do my in and ups. In and ups? You know what I mean? Uh, loop in, loop out, and my switch cable across as well. So the feed currently is sat in this airing cupboard, so it needs to be pulled up through. And it makes sense to do the first one will be this bedroom, bounce over to that bedroom, bring it back across. Oh, I don't need to bring one there, I just need to bring two core cable up to the light for there, and bring the, the three core cable at the moment, which is wrapped up in the floor. So bring that to there. Um, bank this one into the bathroom. Oh well, that was horrific. I absolutely hate lofts. Like again today, it's about 32 degrees, and uh, it is what it is. Right. That's in. That's over. No, I just need to pull that down. Um, just found out here. That's got a cable block above it with the old single coil cable just attached to it. This is actually a drop ceiling. But as it stands, these down lights are all right. The 12 volt LEDs, um, obviously they're not fire rated, but there's no livable space above. Um, there was a transformer, transformer's fine. They're a bit old and shit, but you know, they don't need replacing. Um, I'm gonna redo this cable. I've redone the light loop over to it, but I'm just gonna bring the power to the switch. So I'm just gonna drop this, drill a bigger hole, power in, power out, straight to the transformer to do these. There's a mirror light as well. That cable has been put in afterwards, so there is an earth in it, surprisingly. Um, so that's just then gonna be looped into here as well and just get alive and a neutral from the switch. So I'm just gonna pull a few more things down and grab a drink of water. Right, loft hatch is shut, thank the Lord. Right, everything's in now and in place. Um, I've just got that one rod to pull through, but it's taped on. Uh, Unky dory, feeds all run up and clipped on the inside there. The only one I've got to do is just get the floor up again. I've looped the three core up and just pull that up there. Uh, bathroom, what I ended up doing here was I just put a new switch in. <coughs> There's a Wago box up there uh, with a switch cable in it. Uh, which has got the mirror feed that go over as well. So that's screwed back to the joist with a small round band around it. Uh, it's gonna re it was just simpler because I tried to to fit a, a loop this way, loop in, loop out with the way you go. 
before and there's just a hell of a lot not a lot of space in there at all so just got a better option do it this way we've got to go up there anyway melt so might as well do that so uh, yeah i'm going to go in there pull the last one through and then start getting some boxes in the wall and uh, we'll go from there two way sorted for stair downstairs um because i because i literally never run the power to the switches never mind do <coughs> a two-way switching i just have to look up how to do it again I'm not gonna lie obviously normal two-way intermediate switching would the the, the the feed run to the light fit and yeah no problem but for this so what it is you do Obviously, you've got a line of neutral that go up to the light fitting, and you use your three cores. So, you use one of the cores as a neutral, and then two of the other ones as uh, in L1 and L2. And then downstairs, obviously, the same ones go L1, L2. Uh, and I've used here, grey here for neutral, so obviously, you tap the neutral off there. Um, but you put your um, the live feed in the common at the top. So, your three core in earth becomes what would be normal switch cable plus a neutral. So, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. What I've done is, lights are up and working now. I've just uh, bobbed it into uh, the old board just to make sure everything's up and working. So I don't have to go back in the loft to make sure that everything's done before I pack up upstairs. Everything needs a bit of a hoover. I did have the bucket there, but I knocked it over stupidly. But um, yeah, I need to get some pins because I've, I've put all the old light switches on for them, these ones. Um, Obviously save on costs, buying more plastic ones, but they wanted, they've obviously paid a bit of money for these in the past. I mean, none of them match, but, but originally they were put in with wood screws, so I haven't got any terminal pins, so I'm gonna get my box of pins out of the van and uh, screw them all back. So uh, I'm gonna get that done, and then a bit of a hoover, I think, um, and then test it properly and uh, get ready to start doing the fuse water, really. She's been absolutely everywhere trying to find the gas meter. Everywhere. I've never, ever, ever seen a gas meter in the side of a kitchen cupboard. Hey, hey. Let me know if you have. I've never seen it. Uh, this has also been discovered as well. So you've got a one mil twin and earth here. You've got two plug tops for your oven and your hob ignition. Uh, and then off that, there's a flex that feeds the utility room. And all of that is then connected block together and had tape put around. So, good job whoever did that. It's the only way I can really think of fixing it to a safe standard really is that flex either go on the plug top itself. Um, that looks like it just feeds one socket in the utility. Uh, I mean it's 253 core so it's the right size. Um, and then bring obviously that twin and earth coming down, stick a double socket, because the kitchen's on a ring main, so that's obviously just spurred down, so I can spur it down to a double socket, hob and uh, oven will plug into it, um, and I will have a look at what I'm gonna do with the conservatory feed, to be fair, uh, whether or not the kitchen is a radial, or is a, is, is a ring, I think it's a ring, but I'll just double check in a sec, but yeah, just absolute shoddy work. So that sort of stuff is the, uh, the cause of fires really, overload, old wooden back fuse board, no RCD protection, uh, that cable lo looks like it's surface mounted in the wall, so I have to rectify that as well to be fair, so yeah, shit. Right, I've finished here today, I, uh, I was just wrapping up and uh, his parents just popped up and scared the crap out of me to be honest. Um, Lights are all done, happy with it. I've got a bit of tidying up to do upstairs, but everything's up and running. Um, I've just looked for the gas meter, obviously, you've seen. I've got to run a 10 mil earth to that and to the main water stop tap, but I'll just do a continuous 10 mil round because they're literally next to each other. Uh, and then get the board changed over. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, day three today. Uh, did something stupid last night. I never charged any batteries for my GoPro at all, so I'm a bit stuffed. I've got zero bars currently looking at it. so. I'm not going to be able to do the fuse board, um, record any of this, but I've just got my tester out. I'm just going to do some dead test, um, some IR test on the ring main. I'm just going around plugging everything at the moment um, because there's just one ring main, there's one cooker, there's one shower, there's one feed to the boiler, which is in the air and go upstairs, which has also got the alarm tapped off it as well. 
and I have got the testing video coming soon. I'm doing the testing there tonight or no, sorry, tomorrow night. Obviously, I can get the batteries charged up on this as well. So, okay. So, if you like the video, I know I did one of the things where I'm trying to listen to you guys, you know, try something different, which, you know, this is what it's all about, really, is getting other people's um, techniques and, and giving it a go, really, see what you like. So, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.